Good evening. It is my pleasure to join you in the city of brotherly love to nominate our first sister president. In the United States Congress, I have the privilege to represent teachers and first responders, veterans and college students, small business owners and seniors, and my good friend and colleague, the next President of the United States of America, Hillary Clinton. We New Yorkers really know Hillary. Not only has she been our First Lady and Secretary of State, Hillary has been our neighbor, our friend, and for eight years, our fierce ally in the United States Senate. Here's what I learned from working closely with her for many years. Hillary doesn't just fight the tough battles, Hillary wins them. And in the dark days after September 11th, Hillary's leadership on behalf of New York was unsurpassed. She consoled those who lost loved ones. She brought home the assistance to get New York back on its feet. And long after the cameras were gone, Hillary helped secure health care for the police, the firefighters, and EMTs who were sick because they ran toward ground zero as everyone else ran away. Hillary represented the diverse needs of the entire state of New York, fighting to keep VA hospitals and military bases open, helping to get produce from farms to market, and giving small businesses the tools to grow and hire. She was a strong voice for New York state-of-the-art hospitals, our colleges, and universities. Of course, Hillary's achievements reach beyond the Empire State. From her work to support family caregivers, to make family planning accessible for every American woman. and to help provide 8 million American children with health insurance. And she is respected around the world for her skilled diplomacy, impeccable leadership, and advancement of rights for women and girls. Hillary has devoted her life and career to public service and strengthening America's middle class. Now, Donald Trump has devoted his life and career to, well, Donald Trump. Hillary will always put our families first. 
And that's why on our ballots, we put Hillary first. And now, I am happy to be joined by New York leaders who know Hillary Clinton, who respect Hillary Clinton, and will continue to work to elect Hillary Clinton, the next President of the United States. Yeah, <laughs> you did.